Mark is apparently absolutely 100% terrified of Prince Harry doing this. And you can understand when it plays out and exactly when I explain the reasonings behind this latest, well, headline, as ever let me explain. Hi, good morning, nice to see you. Thank you so much in this beautiful sunshine. Isn't it nice? Just, just, just lovely to have those last rays, as they might say, of summer. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're keeping safe out there. And of course, for many people who tune into this channel on a regular basis to see some of the darker stories. Uh, I love the way as well, by the way, can I just point this out? People say to me, Neil, do you do nothing else but um, Harry and Meghan? And I do point out, you know, there's nostalgia, there's news. Uh, I like to think there's a bit of fun in things. And yes, there's a good smattering of royal news but it's your choice what you click on back as ever to your royal story of the day you can understand it can't you Meghan Markle must have been personally terrified when Harry once again came back over here to the United Kingdom because you see the problem that you have now he's you know verbally visibly said that she won't be returning unless security is put back in place almost recently as July when he sat down for the tableau tales thing on ITV saying it's not well you know safe for his wife to return although it's clearly safe for him so clearly you know she can't be that concerned about permanent safety now what's interesting about this and what's developing is truly this because as we now know Harry did manage to return back here inside the United Kingdom without any fuss without any fanfare outriders all that sort of stuff and managed to attend a funeral alongside his elder brother up in the wonderful area of the United Kingdom Norfolk what a great place it is up there if you truly want to relax that is the place you know and so many wonderful green areas it's i can't explain it check it out if you haven't seen it online just a nice area of the country I'm sure many people have agree but of course he was there and that's right you know not many people knew he was attending and a lot of people were very respectful for the fact that he did finally show up and decide to turn up and pay his respects to robert fellows rightly so so many people say but the bigger picture truly is this you see according to that very well placed source Meghan markle is highly concerned about Harry's you know, return back to the United Kingdom simply because she feels that now without her at his side, you know, we saw that in Colombia, the way she guides him, tells him to hold her hand, virtually everything that is down to her. Well, she doesn't want necessarily his life being enlightened by a former past life, a life that we're told he does actually miss. I don't fully buy into the story at all that Harry wants to return back to a full-time royal life. What I truly believe is that Harry misses certain elements of the life that he knew, like many of us would, you know, you suddenly think, actually, that wasn't that bad. Maybe I could have a smattering of that. But as we all know, our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth said, no, you're either in or you're out. And he had to accept out. But as for Meghan, she apparently is very concerned that Harry's head may be turned about a life that apparently he's left behind and does truly miss. And according to the source who work for them, Harry talked a lot about his former life in England and the things that he got up to. And because she was an American, this particular former employee, he was very keen to point out that they weren't all sort of hooray Henry's having afternoon tea, living in castles and all that sort of stuff. He talked about normal life in England. And what he really missed apparently was the wonderful seasons that we have. Obviously we're going through one now with the falling leaves and all that sort of stuff. So you can understand why Meghan herself must now think after many years away, Harry's getting itchy feet to return to some elements of his previous life. And according to that source, secretly underneath, she's very concerned that finally he may get his wish and somehow not be able to persuade her to return. But more importantly, would he return for extended periods of time? And that is the greater worry for her. Out of her clutches, making his own thoughts unheard of. Right? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.